All right, guys. We got the final topic here. Save plenty of time to still make this a decent size episode, but have a lot of room. All right, we're going to do one thing that I don't think has been done. I know that I was listening to D6 Generation, and they were talking about playing a miniature game live on the podcast and talk about it as they play it. I haven't seen that they've done that, so I don't know if anybody else has done this. We're not going to play a miniature game, but we've got a board game here that is actually a review copy that was sent to the Dice Tower, sent to me. We're just going to play it. I'm still going to do play it a few more times or however many times it takes and, and review it on the Dice Tower, but I thought the game itself lent itself to where you can play it in audio format. So you're not going to see anything that we do. Obviously, if you're watching the video version of the show on YouTube, you're still not going to see anything we do. I'm not going to set the cameras up any differently. Uh, this game is basically like a role-playing... It's not really role-playing at all, but they tout it as like a role-playing card game where it's kind of like magic. That uh, Somebody mentioned it on uh, the forums on BGG. They said it's kind of like the cross between D&D... In Magic the Gathering. All right. Well, we'll see if that pans out. But essentially what the game is, is play cards on your turn, deal damage to other people. You have 60 hit points. If you run out of hit points, you die. We get so, to roll some dice. There, There's going to be do some dice rolling here. I have the expansion. We're not going to include that. Although I will announce ahead of time that it looks like it does add a couple of things that I immediately thought would be cool if they had. But, you know base game it's own only right now so basically you're gonna have a character there's necromancer pyromancer warlock water caster could have thought of a cooler name wind charmer cleric druid and earth shaper there are male and females in the box i don't really care which one we do uh, i'm just gonna randomly give these out the only difference between these characters is literally the sphere of magic that they produce or not produce but uh, are good in you know, like fire, water, etc. Everything else about them is the same. So, Matt, that's you. Eric, what we're going to try to do on this, uh, the game does lend itself. It's kind of roleplay-ish, so we're going to kind of roleplay it out. Maybe that's going to be the entertaining part to you. There's not that much rules at all, so I think that's going to lend it. it it's going to be okay uh, in podcast form. But again, if it sucks, let us know. <laughs> Email us at... Uh, meeplecore at gmail.com and say please never do that again or if it's entertaining let us know too because this could be uh, a start of something new start of something new to do right that's right anyway we're gonna shuffle cards so it's gonna be loud but we have you're I'm, gonna huh oh go ahead <laughs> uh all right matt who'd you get let's just start with that i'm earth shaper your earth shaper earth vendor earth shaper so you're good oh. at you're good at earth spells. Mm -hmm. All right, Eric, what about you? I'm gonna burn you guys. I'm the pyromancer. Mm. There's the pyromancer. I am the necromancer. So I'm good at the purple spells, which I don't remember. I think it's not death magic. So I think it's something else. Maybe it is death magic. Mm. All right. Anyway, so your character card has a couple of things of information. At the top corners and the bottom corners, there's a symbol, and that basically means what gear can go there. So as you're flipping through the deck, you're going to see stuff like this. This is a staff, and mm -hmm. you'll see at the bottom right, there's the same rune uh, symbol, and it's the same color that you can attach to the top left of your card. So basically, you have four slots that you can put stuff in, but it's limited to a specific type of thing. I believe the top left is a staff. The top right is an uh, is a ring the, or amulet. The bottom right is the other ring or amulet, whichever one I'm missing. And then the bottom left is a robe. And these are simply just going to give you, like, increases and in special abilities and stuff. We're going to draw cards from this same deck that goes in the middle, middle of the table. And this is very loud to just shuffle. So we're going to deal with it. I forgot to tell you guys, I'm going to live explain this to Eric. We've never played this game before. This is the first time I've really looked at any of the cards. Uh, they were all in order before we started this. So... I'm going to quickly kind of separate these, but basically we're going to, we're literally going to learn this game, play it. It's only about 20 to 30 minutes with three players. And then right afterwards, we're going to talk about first impressions, what we didn't like. Maybe some of that will happen as we're <laughs> playing the game. I'm sure that's going to, so you're going to see firsthand. This game is garbage. <laughs> you're going to see firsthand what, what goes into uh, some of our review process. I don't know if that's good <laughs> or bad. 
<laughs> but we'll see. So anyway, there's a bunch of different types of cards and the rule book explains all these. Most of them you don't need to know. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just like there's hexes and stuff like that. But basically everything's going to be done through the dice rolling. So if you're familiar with Dungeons and Dragons third edition, they actually say in the back of the rule book that this uses the open GL, the uh, open gaming license from third edition. And I think that's mostly for terminology's sake because this game does not play like Dungeons & Dragons at all, other than using polyhedral dice (laughs) and attacking each other. Although it does have armor class and stuff. So what's going to happen is, on your turn, you're going to have a... Let me kind of bring up that page so I don't forget anything here. And I'm sure first time playing this after reading the rules, maybe something will be missed, but it's really not that many rules. Uh, So on your turn, you're going to go through a prep stage. Uh, prep phase in the prep phase you can basically play cards as you see fit right so you'll have um amulets like this thing and you can play that down right and you'll see how it has the rune up at the top left that can be applied to your character card and if you already have one in that slot you can discard it and put a new one there uh you can play all those you can drink a healing uh, potion or you know a healing card and play a potion card. I believe you can only do one of each of those with the way it's worded in the book, uh, but I, we'll, we'll just go with that because it says play a healing card and a potion card and play magic card items. So this one says artifact. Uh, this one says magic item. You'll see where it says like ring of arcanum and then underneath, underneath of it, it'll say magic item. And then it has a special ability. For the most part, <clears throat> the special abilities in some of these, like this one, The Ring of Arcane increases the Magician's Arcane level by plus one. Everybody has an Arcane level of one to start the game with. There's only Arcane level of three. And at the top right of some of the spell, or all the spell cards, you'll have a number. And that tells you two things. Top left. Top left, whatever. Uh, Top left of the card is going to give you a number, and that's going to be the Arcane level of that spell. Mm -hmm. It's also the color. So, like, this is the purple uh, cards which is for the necromancer or it might be red or blue uh or or green which i'm assuming that you're green mm-hmm. and you can play spells of the arcane level that you are so like you always have a one as you raise your arcane level like with that ring it's gonna allow you to play arcane levels two or, or whatever or three <clears throat> you can see in the middle of your character card where it says sphere of bonus where it says plus one al plus one ar plus three ac Anytime your arcane level is raised, whenever you cast spells of your class color, you're going to get a bonus. So you're going to get plus one arcane level to it. The only reason that matters, it doesn't allow you, from my interpretation, it doesn't allow you to play. It doesn't allow you to instantly play like Eric, your your Pyromancer. Right. You can't start off playing level two fire spells. But when you cast a fire spell, like say you cast fireball, it'll say like do plus or do 1d6 damage per arcane level. And so that's going to apply to that. So you can't immediately start off by playing level two fire spells unless you play a ring against yourself to increase your arcane level. Right. But it's going to make it stronger. The uh, plus three AC just means that if somebody attacks you with your class of magic, so if you get hit by a fire spell, you get plus three to your AC. Okay. Uh, So after the prep phase, that's just basically playing items and stuff you're going to do the attack phase. The attack phase is pretty simple. You're going to play one of three types of cards. You'll got, uh, you have spells, hexes, and scrolls, uh, or your cantrip, which is printed on your character card, which is basically simple. Everybody has one D four damage plus their arcane level, whatever that is. Um, anyway, so spells are going to require you to hit a target. So if you play a fireball, right? It's, you're going to have to roll to hit them. You would roll a d20. And just like in... Which, actually, you know what? This is hilarious. The polyhedral set that it came with didn't even have a d20. It's two d12s. We're going to have to change that real quick. I just noticed that. That's bad. How do you mess that up? <laughs> Matt looks bored. Are you bored, Matt? I'm all right. All right, cool. Uh, so you're going to roll a d20. And you have to hit somebody's armor class. Everybody has an armor class value on the card of 10. Mm -hmm. So in order for you to hit somebody, you're going to hit a 10 or higher unless they hit you with their spell. So like Eric, if I casted fireball against you plus three, you'll have to hit a 13 or higher. Uh, Some of the cards like hexes and scrolls, I think scrolls auto hit hexes. You may still have to roll. It says it on the card. 
Uh, but basically those will say something about a saving throw, which is probably where they had to use the OGL for. Uh, but if it requires a saving throw, then the player that is being hit by it, like say Matt, you get, you have to roll a D 20 and roll underneath your armor class, your armor class or lower to save against it. Typically that means you're just suffering half damage. If you roll a crit, which is a natural 20, you do double damage. If you do a roll of one, you do your, all the damage that you roll to yourself. So bad. Oh, wow. Yep. Uh, the other thing you can do on your attack phase is, well, during your preparation phase is you can play allies and there's like allies like bears and stuff like that. When you play them like this wolf here, this wolf actually has hearts, you know, hit points and it has a, a damage value and it has an armor class. When you play pretty much all of them, they will come in front of you. You can only have one at a time. When you play them, you either go into attack mode, which is like upright or defense mode, which is tapped. I could say that, right? They're using the OGL by... Yeah. Yeah. So if it's tapped, then it's in defense mode. The only difference is when somebody attacks you and you have a guy in defense mode, it's going to immediately be the target. If you are on your turn, if it's in attack mode, then you get to attack with it after your normal spell attack. Um, and it just gets one attack. So I would attack Eric, roll a d20. If I hit your armor class, he would do d8 damage. All right. If I have a guy in attack mode and you attack me, he no longer has the taunt kind of ability, so you mm -hmm. don't have to target him, although you can to just kill him off okay. if you want to. Uh, after that is the end of your phase, so basically you're just playing cards down, you go to attack phase, you get to play one big attack spell, basically, and then you move on to your end phase where you can discard a card, and then you always draw back up to five. That is pretty much most of the game. Sounds good. We're going to role play some of this out to make it a little bit more interesting for those listening on the um, on the podcast or video cast here. So we're going to start off, I believe each player draws a random character card and you get uh, you get 60 hit points, whatever, shuffle a stack, deal five cards to each player. Do they, do they give you anything to uh, track your hit points? Uh, no, so we're going to have to use... Uh, it's called pen and paper. Pen and paper, pen Eric. And paper. This is a pen and paper card game. What about a calculator? <laughs> I mean, you can use a calculator. I don't really care. Here you go, Eric. <laughs> oh, I got a necromancer. What? I'm going to raise the dead. Look, is it a character? Yeah, it's your character. Oh, did I shuffle that in there? <laughs> My bad. What, uh, you have four cards now? I have five. Oh, I must have just set it on top of it. All right, so... We'll try our best to narrate everything that's happening. That way we uh, don't leave you guys out. So I've got five cards here. I'm going to begin the game. Let's go ahead and do it. I can prepare. So I've got some cool stuff. Uh, there's no limit to what you can play there in this phase. You can pretty much play any number of magic items you want. You can only play one potion and one healing item. Uh, it says one healing card. So anything that says healing, I'm assuming is potions. Yeah, it just says healing. So the first thing I'm going to play is this Robe of Protection plus one. It's a magic item, and it's going to increase my armor class by plus one. Look at that. Now I have uh, 11 armor class. I'm amazing. And um, I'm also going to play this Amulet of Power Strike. It goes in my amulet slot, and this amulet increases the magician's attack damage by plus 1d6. I'm already going to start off punk late. Oh, my goodness. That's right. Who wants to get attacked? Um, Matt. Matt does. Matt does. <clears throat> so I'm going on to my attack phase. I do not have any spells that I can play at the moment. So I'm just going to do my cantrip, uh, which actually, you know what? Uh, I'm going to grab some dice because I just remember we don't have a D20. So. Stretch. Keep that set over there. Thankfully, totally <laughs> break my stuff. It, it's good. It's good. He, it still he, works. He I'm gonna get attacked. <laughs> <laughs> All right. For Eric destroying my uh, case, my Chessex case here, I'm gonna attack Eric with my cantrip. It, it made some weird noises, but <laughs> it's fine. All right. So I gotta hit Eric with my D20. I can't believe the one game that requires you to roll D20s most of the game. It's a D20 card game. Did not come with a D20. 
That's phenomenal. All right, anyway, so Tom, here we go. Tom kept it. What I roll? 17. 17. Okay, I hit you for 1d4, but I get plus 1d6 damage from my uh, amulet of power strike here. Right of us. Eric, take 8 damage. 8 damage. I zap you with my cantrip. It's called Hand of Death. It sounds... Ah. Now, I will preface this real quick by everyone has the same cantrip. It's just some named ability, but it does plus 1d4. <laughs> Or a D4 per arcane level. Mm -hmm. What was the name of yours? Hand of Death. Okay. Yours is called something different, but it does the same thing. Burning Hands. Yeah. In the expansion, I quickly glanced at, it does give you extra cantrips per your arcane level. So everybody has the same starting one, but as you get arcane level two and three, like uh, one of them becomes immune to poison cards and the other one becomes like you get extra healing against you and stuff. So it mm. does diversify the character slightly. So anyway... Uh, end of my turn, I'm going to discard one card. I think I'm going to discard this one, and I'm going to draw back up to five. I've got two, three, four, five. So, so if I got this right, you can't attack anybody that's out of your element. Is but that no, right? No, you can. What do you mean? Uh, so like you can't use a spell that's, a, you know, I'm a red mage, you fire. Yes, yeah. you can. I can use other. You've got basically level one of any color. Oh, okay. If you cast one of your own color, then you You're get... You're automatically level two? Well, it doesn't give you level two, so you can't it cast a level two. One. It just gives you plus one, and it's mostly for the damage that it does. Because it's going to tell you how much damage it does per arcane level. I gotcha. So you're a little bit better casting your own stuff. Yes, and if people cast that card to get the color against you, you get plus three defense. All right. So... All right, beginning of your turn, Matt. You got prep phase. What are you going to play? Anything? Okay, quick question. The numbers in the left-hand corner, Yeah. that is just the arcane level, right? Correct. That's right. Okay, so if it has a one, I can play it. Yeah, but you're going to cast that during your attack phase. Yes. Uh, yeah. Is this when you would put companions down? This is when you would put companions. This is when you would put. Uh, you would play a healing card, a Ma potion, and any number of magic items. Uh, can you have more than one companion? Uh, you can only have one companion unless you're like the Beast Lord, which I don't... Who are you? It's not oh, Beast I'm Lord. Earth, I'm Earth Shaper. Earth Shaper. He, oh, he's Beast Lord. All right. Well, I'm going to throw down my burr. Your burr. I've got a burr. burr. Is he's he going to be attacking or uh, defensive mode? I, mm, let's see. He does 1d10. You know what? I'll let him swing at somebody. He's got 20 <laughs> health. He's got nine armor. He has 20 health? Eric, hand me my die. Yes. Um, okay, so that is that. So now we go to... now. Or does he attack now? Uh, he'll attack during your, your attack phase. Okay, so during attack phase is also when I lay down spells. Uh, yeah, you're going to play one spell card. One spell card. Um, so are you done putting down magic items and stuff like that? Yes. All right, cool. <clears throat> um, and the spell card goes away? Or it stays there? Stays there? One, it's basically you cast it and you do it and it goes away. Oh, gotcha. Okay, well, let's hit somebody. I like I like animals. So, um, Tim, we'll hit you with a murder of crows. Murder of crows. They deal 1d6 points of damage per arcane level, which no, is well, a one. So it's a 1d6. I have a robe of protection, not specifically against crows, but you know, it's really thick armor. It gives me plus one, uh, armor class. So I've got an armor class of 11. So Matt, you got to roll d20 and you got to roll an 11 or higher unless you got any bonuses. Uh, is that, is that, col what color is that magic? No, that's green. I'm Wait, brown. You're brown? Yes. Okay. So I'm, you want to. I'm earth. Gotcha. All right. So I need 11 or higher. I roll a 17. Peck, 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 peck. Oh, I got pecked. I got ah. pecked. I'm getting pecked. So how much damage was it? Uh, that is 1d6. All right. So, uh. Alfred Hitchcock. You, oh, here. Yeah. The birds. Dice. Birds attacking. 1d6. Take four, Tim. I took. Also, your I bear attack. four. Yes. All right, so your bear does the same thing since you've got oh, him. Oh, he has to, he has to uh, roll to hit yeah. separately. Hand that back to Eric. Is this when yeah. I tap my bear? No, you don't ever tap it. If it's tapped, it's always in defense mode. They're not tapped on oh, bear. Oh, really? That's so odd. When, you're, okay. when your companion comes out, it can attack once on its turn, uh, and it's always in attack mode. So you'll never be able to defend with it. If I attack you, I can choose to hit your bear or hit you. If you put him in defense mode when you played him, he basically taunts. He has taunt. You have to. Everyone has to kill him before it moves on. Okay, that's fine. All right. So he needs uh, same thing. 
11 or higher? Yep. Oh, you know what? There's one thing I did forget real quick. There are enemies in the deck. They are red cards, and I think their icon on the left middle is like a like a kind of like an orc symbol or something. If you have any of those, go ahead and hand them to me. I don't think you get those at the beginning of the game. Okay. No, I do not. Nope. All right. If you ever draw them, let me know. They're played immediately. Gotcha. All right. 11 or higher. Bear of 17. I like 17. Is he clawing me too? Yeah, um... Now let's hit Eric. Let's split it up. <laughs> what? Yeah. You got reason to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I negotiated with the bear as it came at me. Uh, hey, right. hey, bro. Hey, bro. There's some honey over there. So Eric's pants. A one d ten. That's for hate drafting my Dyson Pioneer. <laughs> Pioneer he's, days. He's metagaming old experiences. Uh, uh, oh, my hatred is carried to another game. Oh no. Yeah. Uh, it, 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 that should be a BGOMG right there. Yeah. Uh, I think we've done it on it. <laughs> oh. Uh, so five, Eric. Taking five. I'm at 47. Eric, Eric got clawed. All right, Arr. Matt. You want to discard any cards? Let's discard um, two. Well, you, just one. So oh, just I, did, one? I did say cards, but okay. yeah, you get a choice to discard one, and then you draw back up to five. Yeah, let's get rid of one. All right, so uh, how many you need? Three. If all the podcast stuff wasn't in the middle of the table, we would, uh, this would be a little easier, but that's fine. Eric, it's right. beginning your turn with a prep phase. Taking on this Ring of Arcane. It's going to give me plus one to my Arcane level. All right, I just got to say that immediately makes Eric the target. All right, no. all right Tim. <laughs> He's going to hit us. Well, wait, do you want to play any other magic items? No, I don't got any. And you want to play a healing item or a potion? Nope. All right, companion? Nope. All right, we're moving on. Moving on to attack phase. Yep. Tim, I'm going to come at you with my Flame Blade. Flame Blade? So, a blazing blade of red hot fire deals 1d8 points of fire damage per arcane level so so i have two arcane levels well i'm using red so i have arcane level of three you're you, do i roll the d8 uh, three times or move your phone Eric. do you do it times three we're, we're gonna roll them in the box to make it dramatic for the podcast so you can hear it eric that's where you're gonna roll your dice all right all right so basically your arcane level is two right it allows you to cast that spell correct now, for the damage, you add all your arcane level together. Which now is three. Yes. So you're going to do... what? It, it says 1d8 uh, one d eight points of fire damage per arcane level. So te te technically you have an arcane level of three. So you're mm -hmm. going to do 3d8. So you're going to roll the eight-sided die three times against me and do damage. Oh, well, before you do that, you well, still got to hit me. That's right. And I've got a, I've got a 11, 11 armor class. Roll it in this box so we can hear the... Bam! What... A six. Uh, a swing and a miss. A fizzle. A fizzle and a fizzle. Psst. Psst. I, didn't, I didn't want to hit you anyway. <laughs> he throws his flame blade. I dodge out of the way. It takes out a building. Because it seems like it was powerful. It I wasn't was. very excited about being attacked by that, Eric. Is that your discard? Yes. You just keep him over there. How many cards you need? Uh, I need three. You only get to discard one. Oh, you, that was yes. your spell you're counting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here's your three cards. Do you draw any, uh, any uh, bad guys? No. All right, so it comes to me. I've got my prepare phase. Let's see. Oh, I forgot to mention as we're playing this, there are defense cards as well. Defense cards. I should probably kind of go over each of the types. I didn't really finish all the rules. We just started. You got the character. You got your spells. Hexes are uh, things you can curse your opponent with. No attack roll is made, but you do need to roll. They get to roll a saving throw. It says that on the card. There are scrolls, which basically work the same way. Um, there are companions, which we talked about. There's skill cards, uh, which will give you a benefit. You can only play one skill card per turn. Uh, there's a limitation on that. And then, but you discard them after they're used. There's defense cards. These are the cards you play out of turn. So if somebody attacks you before they roll dice, you can be like, bam, I'm going to play this defense card. All right. Uh, it gives you like different, you know, abilities to dodge things or whatever. Uh, there's magic items, which are the things you're equipping to your characters. There's potions and healing, which you'll do in the prep phase. There's artifacts, uh, and those are extremely extremely powerful attributes. You They are equipped to you, I'm assuming, but you don't actually take up a slot. There are enemy cards, which kind of looks like a an ogre face, I guess. And those will come out. There's encounters, which basically just, they're events. They'll just do something, then they'll go away. And there's also t uh, tenacious enemies. <clears throat> When those come out, you actually, they stay out and everybody has to kill them. 
So while they are out, no one can make attacks against other players. You actually hit them and do damage mm. and try to take them out. And then there's black cards. And here's an interesting thing. It says black cards are very rare, can be found in all categories. Marked with the letters BC, they are added randomly in the game boxes or expansion packs in very limited quantities. I thumbed through them and I don't think I have any in here. Oh. Uh, hmm. Dumb concept. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so other than that, um, magic spheres, which are the colors, and you get your bonus. Uh, oh, I forgot this too. It actually says it on the card. Not only do you get plus one to your arcane level, you also get plus one to attack with it as well. That would have made your attack a seven. a seven. You still missed. Gotcha. But then you get the armor bonus for being attacked with the same. I guess it's AR attack rating. Yes. Gotcha. Yeah. AL is arcane level. AR is attack rating, and the AC is the armor class. Uh, other than that. Uh, we talked about the critical hits and fumbling damage discard pile and the th saving throw. So yeah, we went over everything else. I just thought I, I can't remember the, some of the rules being you know, later on in like the glossary and stuff. Oh. There's a glossary in the back and that's where you talk about critical hits and stuff, but it never mentions that anywhere else. So that's why I kind of wanted to thumb through there. All right. So my abilities here, uh, I'm going to play. Actually, I think it's, uh, Attack roll. Is it AR attack roll, not rating? Maybe it's attack roll. Yeah, one of my cards references a roll. Yeah, attack roll. Attack roll. You're right. Uh let's see, I do have something cool here. Um We don't like the uh the sound of that. <laughs> what is this? A scroll of summoning. So I pull this out of my back pocket. I'm like, why don't I just lead with this, right? I'm gonna summon Upon reading this scroll, the magician may summon a blue dragon that deals all other players 2d20 points of electricity damage. To what? Broke. <laughs> the players are allowed a saving throw to take half damage. Broke. Is that black card? It is a... Uh, no, it's just an artifact. It doesn't say BC anywhere. Let's we'll see right. what happens here. All right. 2d20. What is that? We got eight points of damage. It's a little weak. And a natural 20. Everybody's got to take 28 points of damage, but you're allowed to save against it. So roll a d20. Matt, you got to roll your armor class or lower to save half damage. I mean, your armor class is 10 unless you got anything. Uh, shouldn't it be 13? Uh, plus 3? Well, the plus 3 is if I'm hitting you with a spell of your color. So you're brown, right? Oh, got you. Yeah, so I'm not. I'm so just hitting just you 10. with a scroll. Yeah. 16. Oh, he's no. going to take 20 points of damage. I didn't roll it 20. in my box. That's all right. You said 28 or 26? It's 28 damage, 28. but you can save half by rolling your armor class or lower. A two. That's right. <laughs> I ducked out of the way. I summoned a crazy dragon, electricity dragon. It, it, it dodged it, all that by some accord. <laughs> it went after uh, Matt there and let me alone. Fair enough. Uh, I don't really have anything else. How much damage did you hit me for, Matt? Or did you miss? No, I hit you. How much did that take? Um, four. Four. Okay, gotcha. So I'm at 56. So you slapped him in the face. Bam. Just lightly. All right. Uh, I guess I'm pretty much going to my attack phase. I don't have anything, so I'm going to do a cantrip, which is simply my attack spell. Uh, Eric saved against that. I got to make him take some damage, right? You can try. Hand of death, Eric. Oh, one. one. This is bad. Oh, oh. <laughs> hit, hit yourself. So I do a D point, D four points of damage per arcane level. My arcane level is one. I'm also going to take one D six damage because of my amulet of power strike. I increase my hand of death. How do I miss with that? I literally touch myself. That's right. I'm like Madonna. touching yourself. Madonna. Seven points of damage. That's very bad. I'm at 49. I'm going to discard a card and I'm going to draw uh, two cards, and now I'm going to be done. Matt, your turn. Uh, so I'll play. Let's uh, glug, glug, glug. Let's potion heals a magician by 15 hit points. Oh, glug, glug, glug. Wow. <laughs> that must have been a, a, a big potion. I Major think that's, healing uh, potion. It is a greater healing. Greater healing. Greater healing. Greater healing potion. So the spell I played earlier, it goes away, though, also? Yeah, yeah. These yeah. Are, everything's single. The yeah. magic items are kind of the permanent. Um, okay, so now for my attack phase... Uh, I'm pretty upset about this dragon. Um, 
So I'm gonna shoot a fireball. I was planning on. I wanted to shoot it at Eric because I wanted to hit him with his own stuff. But oh, you could you could have tried, but plus yeah. three. Oh, you got an extra. I got plus got, three to yeah, my armor. So, okay, so yeah. I'll just shoot uh, Tim with this. So fireball. Uh, let's see if I hit you. All right. So my armor class is 11 because of my robe of awesomeness. Also known as robe, robe of protection. What with the box? Oh no! Oh, he, well, he did a one. one. It, that's cool. That's it's cool. a one. Um, it's only it only counts if it's in the box. Mm, all right. <laughs> what? Did you just? That was a new roll. Oh, it's a twenty. No, oh. <laughs> no, it's a nineteen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, it's a nineteen though. So we're going with that. Oh, that's a good hit. Uh, what I'm saying is, just count it if it's in the box. Got you. Uh, so I'm doing a one d six points of damage. All right, here we go. Six. Oh, I took six. I'm at 43 hit points. What are you guys at anyway? 47. Let's announce these when it happens. 47. Wow, really? Yeah. Oh, that's I just healed 15, though. That's fair. That's fair, yeah. All right, so I guess you're going on to your, uh, oh, you're a companion. My burr. He's still in attack mode. Who you want to hit? Uh, He got upset about the dragon, too. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so he has to hit an armor class of 11. I don't think he has any bonuses. No. All right. 13. 13. All right. I am hit by a bear. He's going to claw oh. my eyes out, apparently. 1d10. 1d10? Yes. He's dead. <laughs> He's my next target. Uh, Two. Two points of damage. Still, that's a d10. <laughs> uh, and then I will stop there. All right. Uh, you want to discard any uh, a card and draw back up? Uh, Let's get rid of one card. Give me three. All right. Here we go. Eric, your turn. Prepare phase. All right. So I'm going to uh, give myself this minor healing potion. It's going to give me five hit points. Weak. Yeah. I didn't get that greater one. You only get to count, uh, do one per turn. All right. If you have another one. I got Staff of War. Oh, what's that do? It that sounds fun. It gives me plus two to my uh, magician's attack roll. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. All right, so... Uh, still would have missed with that six plus one plus two, but still. I know. So I'm going to turn someone into a garden gnome. I'm going to hex them. <laughs> Since Tim has a higher rating, I'm going to hit Tim with this uh, garden gnome spell or hex. So you get to do a saving throw. I'm, I'm putting my box closer to the mic so we can hear this more. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> If you don't, uh, if you don't make it, you are turned into a garden gnome. Uh, your your armor rating is halved. Let's well, a garden gnome. I don't want to be a garden gnome. I'm they're not hit. even that cool. You know no, how many times not. I see these things at Goodwill? Quite a few times. Yeah, <laughs> garden gnomes <laughs> are like a staple in the garden section. All right, so I got to make a saving throw. That's right. The interesting thing about your armor class is since you have to roll under it, I've got plus one to my saving throw as well because I have to roll eleven or below temporarily. Yeah. Whatever. Six. You didn't make. Oh, you made it. Yeah, I'm no. Right. I'm not a no guard hex gnome. for you. No, put that closer to your mic. The box. All right. So you can roll and get the dramatic roll effect. <laughs> All right. Which, which one of you folks have a uh, higher uh, health at the moment? Forty-seven. Well, let me see. So once per turn, you can attack an opponent of your choice using a spell, hex, or scroll. Oh, or your cantrip. So that would be your main attack. That oh. would be my main attack. Yeah. All right. I ain't attacking then. I didn't want to attack you guys. Because <laughs> I'm a peaceful magician. Is that it? I guess so. I'm going to I'm gonna re, uh, get rid of one card and draw four. Just make your own discard pile. All right. So here we go. Prep phase for me. I got some stuff here. I probably should read this more. I'm at 41 hit points. I'm going to also be like Matt and glug, glug, glug. A greater healing potion for 15 hit points. Overkill overkill i'm at 56 again and um let's see i have no 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 and i'm gonna move on to the attack phase i uh, do not have an attack spell so i'm just gonna do my cantrip of hand of death uh let's do you matt i haven't hit you yet all right all right hand of death on matt oh you know on on your uh, on your companion on companion yeah all right i he... called that earlier i rolled a 19 what's uh, his defense uh, he's a nine Nine. Oh yeah, so he's easier to hit. I'm gonna hit this fool with a D4 plus one D6 from my amulet of power strike. I rolled four points of damage. Maybe just keep it on paper. Uh, yeah, sure. What's his hit points? Twenty. Twenty. He he's beasty. He's, he's a tank. He's a tank. What is this garbage? 
I'm going to discard a card. I've got three. I'm going to draw two, and it's Matt's turn. Uh, so for my preparation phase, I've got a Robo Protection plus one. It obviously gives me armor class plus one. Oh, that's what I have. Yeah. You got a leathery cloak. Um, let's try and do some vampire hunger. I would attack him probably, but it's his school. So Eric. <laughs> whoa, whoa. What's this? Oh yeah. You'd be rolling against a 14 unless you got some bonus. To yeah. Hit. Uh, so I'm doing a vampire hunger. Let me read what it does. Uh, vampire bite deals 1d8 points of damage per arcane caster level to the target player. Your magician gains as many hit points as damage. Oh, he's going to suck dealt. your life out, Eric. He's like a vampire. Give me that blood. Are yeah. you 11 armor class? Uh, No, just 10. Just 10. Just 10. He's got extra bonuses to hit. Mm. <laughs> Not my blood, man. Four, Not my blood. 14. So I got a 1d8. <laughs> Does it say d8 or d4? D8. D8, all right. Does it say d8 or d4? Eight points. No. Four. All right. I just lost boys you. <laughs> <laughs> Matt also gets eight. This is like true blood up in here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that's me. All, All right, right, Matt. Do you want to discard card? Uh, let's discard. Uh, let's discard one. How many you need? Three. Three. All right, so Matt gets three new cards here. Remember, if you see anything that says something about a red, it's mostly a red card, I believe. But. Yeah, I haven't seen one yet. All right, Eric, start your prepare phase. How are you going to prepare to punch people in the face this round? Oh, I'm not preparing. I'm just going to go for it. <laughs> going for the attack. I'm going to get, get mad back here. You gonna, you're not going to do any equips or anything? <laughs> no. no. magic items? Nope. Oh. So I'm going to make you spontaneously combust. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the target player suddenly bursts into flames and is dealt 1d10 damage of fire damage per arcane caster level. Wow. Your arcane is caster it? level is 2, right? Yes, and as, you, a, as a black magic or whatever. And what rank is but, it? But it does two. Gotcha. But it does uh, fire damage. If the target's player, uh, it says if the par target's player's saving throw fails, uh, and that player's wearing a robe, it's burned. It is burned. You always gonna catch you on fire. You gonna burn my robe? Matt, burn you just, it. You just bought that. Wait, yeah. Eric, is it a fire spell or is it black? No, it's black. It, but it does fire damage. But it does fire damage. Yeah. Interesting. All right, here we go. All right. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> that was a three. The, the most aggressive roller Boom. award. Most aggressive award Boom. goes to yeah. Eric. <laughs> Maybe move that, your that box was, a little bit over. <laughs> all right. That was a sound of a fizzle. Imagine if it actually went off. <laughs> it spontaneously, spontaneously combusted my microphone. Yep. <laughs> Discarding one, drawn two. All right, here you go. All right, so my turn. I don't have much that I can prepare. Um, so I'm going to take another minor healing five hit points. I don't know if you can go above max. It doesn't really state. So I'm just going to go to max. That's mm. 60. Otherwise, this game's going to go on forever. And I don't have anything to prepare. So, Eric, it is time for you to feel the other hand of death. Because my, <laughs> my first hand of death is hurting right now. Yes. Uh, so we're going to roll this D20. What's your defense? Just 10? Just 10. That's right. 12. I Barely. Hit, I hit you. What else? A hit is a hit. That's so I, right. get a, I get a D6. I get a D4 because my increases the magician's attack damage. Six points of damage, a four and a two. Feel the hand of death. Takes me down to 38. All right. So I'm going to discard this card. I've got three. I'm drawing two. And it is Matt's turn. Um. Oh, wait, wait pause hold there's, your horses there's more. because a horde of orcs have came out uh look at the symbol real quick just so you know what i'm talking about yep all right see it all right so it's a horde of orcs it's a tenacious enemy they have 25 hit points they do 2d8 damage they will hit all players at the end of oh, they do it now and then at the end of the round when all players have went they'll attack again they have a six armor class they still roll to hit but i, I believe they do it against one roll to see and then whoever gets hit by it gets hit by it right a horde of orcs marches from the hilltops and declares war on all parties or on all players as long as the enemy lives players cannot attack each other mm. so we got a horde of orcs i'll keep track of their hit points here at 25 and um that happens right now so uh eric go ahead and, or matt matt you go ahead and roll the die is this for them they're gonna hit all of us with this attack roll 
correct. Roll low. 17, sorry. Oh. I've rolled 17 like three times. <laughs> <laughs> so all of us get hit for 2d8 damage. Matt, roll that as well. 2d8. Yep. Give me a d8. Oh. There we go. We're all going to get beat up. Oh, my God. 13. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. <laughs> I'm at 47, Matt. Uh, that'll drop me to uh, 42. Eric? 25. All right, let's go. Uh, anytime you take damage, just announce it. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, so this orc is out here, guys. Temporary truce. I mean, you don't have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah. All right, got, what you got, Matt? Uh, and I I can't cast a level two spell, right? I have to have something you have to, to have boost the, you up. Yeah, something like, to boost you like up. Like one right. of these, Matt. I got an yeah. extra. Oh, we going to trade? <laughs> Uh, well, I'm going to send some crows to pick. I got lots of animal stuff going on. Uh, let's go pick out these orcs. All right. These orcs have an armor class of six. What you got? I'm just kind of looking because I'm pretty sure that 15. This... Oh, you hit. So we're doing one D six to them. <laughs> All right. Take them down, Matt. Caca, caca, four. Oh, that's right. They go down to 21 hit points. Anyway, what it says about sphere, sphere bonus sphere bonus like on your card right mm -hmm. it says each character has a sphere bonus when you play a spell card that is the same color as your magician's own magic sphere during the attack phase you get an additional plus one arcane caster level right which i guess is the difference oh. between arcane level and mm -hmm. arcane caster level so yeah i think it just it doesn't make you allowed it doesn't allow you to cast higher level arcane spells of that type mm -hmm. it just adds to the damage oh well anyway i just want to make sure I will take two cards. All right, here we go. Eric, it is now your turn. We got to kill these things All fast. Right, you guys are hurting me, so I'm going to put this robe of protection on. It's going to give me plus two to my armor class. Eric totally trumped our robe, Matt. Yeah. We got plus ones, and he got plus two. And then, oh, man. I guess I'm hitting this uh this goblin party uh, with ice blast. They're orcs. Orcs? Whatever. <laughs> they look the same. Well, okay, let's debate that. <laughs> Oh, there's no debate. Eric, you lose. All right. <laughs> so a violent blast of freezing wind deals 1d8 point of damage, of cold damage per arc arcane caster level. All right. So, so first you got to hit uh, armor class of six, but you got plus two to that, right? Yeah. I got a seven. <laughs> plus two. <laughs> he hits. Yeah. I That's do. all that matters, right? So uh, I have arcane class of two, so I hit him with two d8s. Rolls those dice. A three. And a six, so nine damage. That's nine points of damage. It takes them down to ten hit points, or uh, sorry, twelve hit points. Enough for you to finish him off. That's right. <laughs> right. Okay. All right, I'm discarding one. I'm going to uh, grab two more cards. Two more cards. Here you go. All right, so prepare phase. Let's see. I've got... Mm, nope. We're going to attack this guy. This is actually kind of a weaker ability. Um... I'm going to cast Magic Stone. It's an Earth spell, Matt. I'm still in your spells. Yep. Uh, powerful Magic Stone deals 1d6 points of damage per Arcane Caster level to the target. I also get plus 1d6 uh, to my attack. So we're going to roll to hit this thing. Need a 6. I rolled a 14. I'm going to do 2d6 points of damage. We got 2, 4. That is 6 points of damage. I did not take it out. It will attack us here in a second. Uh, here's my card that I cast. Um, I'm going to get rid of... Let's see. Um, no, I'm going to keep both of these. I'm just going to draw two. And now it's the crazy orcs. Eric, go ahead and roll that d20 against us. Which is not very fun. A 12. Uh, so my... I have a 12. Does it hit me? If you equal or exceed, yeah. Gotcha. So everybody gets hit, and now they're going to do 2d8 points of damage. Orcs are speeding this game up for us. That's a, a 2? That's a 10. That's a 10. <clears throat> well, I did two twos. Is that's that a, 10? That's a 10. He had a, he had a 8. A bigger chance of hitting us. 8. Can we do that again? Eric hasn't played many role-playing games, guys. It looks like an 8. <laughs> oh, what did you do to a 7 <laughs> and a 4? It's 11, 11, 11 points 11 of damage. Points. I'm at 36. 31. 14. Eric I'm is hurting. falling. He's falling. All right, Matt. We got to take these out. All right. Um, I mean, don't kill him, right? So take him out just where Eric has to finish him off. <laughs> take him out, Matt. 
What's his hit points? He has six hit points left. You can do this, man. I'm assuming they have one hit point per, per orc, and they came at us with 25 of them. Yeah. That would make it way more BA in this situation. That's right. If it's one dude, he is beating the crap out of three magic users. Uh, let's <laughs> place We're down. Weak. I'm going to put down Dome of Protection. Placing this card in front of your magician at the beginning of your turn, it will protect from one successful attack. Oh, like, wow. Oh. So you get to pick? I, I assume. Yeah. Or the next one. It's probably the, the next, next one. successful attack. Oh, okay. So yeah. if you attack him and you roll and you miss, it doesn't get rid of it. It has to be successful. So somebody's mm-hmm. got to burn something on him. All right. Yeah. Uh, then we'll try some magic stone on these orcs. We got a powerful magic stone. Deals 1d6 points. Yeah. Yep, plus it's your, uh, it's your caster, right? It's brown? Yep, brown. All right. So go ahead and roll. You need a six or higher to hit it. Really? It's a one. <laughs> you, you hit yourself. I hit myself. Yeah, good job. Uh, uh, you didn't get really throw the stone. I think it fell on top of you yeah. as you cast it. Okay, so one d six. But I do. <laughs> deal, is it double damage though to me? Yeah. Okay, I rolled a one. Well, you gotta roll two dice because your arcane level gets plus one when you cast oh, I, the same I, I spell. I was just gotcha. So four. So four total. So eight damage or. Uh, I don't know. Do I? Yeah, I mean, you you crit. Did you crit? Oh, oh no, you rolled a one. So you just one. do the basic damage against you, not great. Gotcha. Yeah. So four? Yep. Yeah, that puts me at uh, 27. No. Mm. We got to kill these orcs. We can't let them win the game. Um, uh, But I do have my bear. I think that, I forgot about yeah, him last get, time. Get that bear in there. Let's get that bear in there. All right, so he's got to claw these orcs. It's a seven. Well, oh, the hits. The six is the All armor right, class. Sweet. So we got a 1d10. Oh, you can kill it. You only need to hit a six. Zero's a 10, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, it dies. The orcs have been eliminated just in time for Eric to punish people. <laughs> First thing I'm going to do is... Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, oh. Go, I, wanna, go. I want cards. I want cards. All right, go All ahead. Right, do Two it, cards. Do it. Two cards. Here we go. Two cards coming Matt's way. Oh. Eric, begin your prepare phase. I got a better elixir than you. Oh, oh, what is this? It's called the elixir of life. I got 25 hit points. Is this a healing card, really? Yeah. Dang, what are you at now? 39. 39, wow. Mm-hmm. All right. So let's do... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to hit somebody. I would so hope so. I'm going to go with... Uh, I got Sam. 36. Eric, or Matt, what do you got? You said? 27. Oh, I'll I go guess with, I'm, I'm yeah, the target here. I'll go with Tim here. <clears throat> I'm going to ice blast you. Uh, a violent blast of freezing winds sells 1d8 per Whoa. arcane level. All right, I've got 11 defense. Let's see what you got. Let's see that miss. 17. What is it? Plus two. That's a number, right? 17. Yep. 17 is the number. That is the number. All right, so, so you got, what two, does it do? 2D8s. Two 2D8s. Eight. Two eight. What are you throwing at me? What's it called? Ice Blast. Ice Blast. It's freezy. Yep. You're going to get already, I'm a necromancer, dude. I'm already cold. Oh, there's a seven. Uh-oh. And a five. <gasps> Was it 12, 12 damage? 12 damage. All right, 36 down to 26, 24. Math. <laughs> I'm going to discard uh, one. All right, how many you want? Three. Three? All right. <clears throat> Let's see what I got here. I don't have anything. You know what? I forgot that I had these. I should have maybe. Well, anyway. All right, Eric, for that, how many hit points you got? 39. Oh, see, you healed up. Time to blast you heavily. Did you heal? Oh, I know. Yeah. I can't even oh, cast these. Five. That's right. Um, Get a little stronger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's play this. This seems annoying enough. I'm going to hit you with a confusion hex, Eric. Let's see. Do your saving throw. All right, basically it says, if the target player misses their saving throw, that player's magician will become confused and cause the player to skip their turn. Oh, one of these cards. <laughs> Worst type of cards in the game. Oh, lose your turn card? <laughs> yeah, what's up oh. with that? <laughs> if you got any defense cards. Oh, you rolled it. Oh, no, what? No. Oh, the what, cards. what is it, Matt? What no. is it? I got five. A five. No, that's Which good. is less, yeah. Oh, yeah, less. No, there you go. That's right. You're, you're saving. Is, Sorry. Oh, what is that? I ruined my whole thing. Mm. Try again next time. Right. Uh, I'm going to keep these cards. I'm going to draw one, and it's Matt's turn. Um, I don't have any preparation. I am going to throw some infection on Tim, though. What? Uh, if the target player misses their saving throw, the player's magician will be permanently infected and take 1d10 points of damage. <laughs> oh, my goodness. At every following turn, the player must roll a successful saving ro- throw or their magician will take 1d10 
10, ten points of damage. damage. What is this? What is, what kind of card is it? Hex. I Hex. Know. Hex. I don't think I have anything against. No, let's see. All right. Well, that sucks. All right, here we go. I need a uh, 11 or lower. 15. I'm amazing. Give me this stupid card. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Look. Okay, I, was, I just want to point this out. It's a skull. I'm an You're Necromancer. You're Right. I should be able to absorb this. All right. I missed my saving throw. I'll permanently infect it and take a deep 10 points of damage. So let's roll that out. Nine. <laughs> You're hurting yourself. Ouch. I'm at tw uh, 15. All right. And, uh, You're the new target. And it doesn't go away. What am I the new target? You're the new target, I'm Healer McKeely. You're not even a cleric. I'll finish you off. And every falling turn. Man. Uh, I'll get be... rid of one. I'll take two. All right. Oh, that's bad. Here you go. Oh, my bear hasn't won yet. Oh, go ahead and attack with him. Eric. Well, I, don't, I don't like your bear. <laughs> my bear smells you. <laughs> he smells you. No, it's only two. You smell like fire. He, he didn't want to come over. That's right, Bear. You stay over there. Oh, red? Nope. Never mind. Whoa. Oh, it's a red one? You going to play it? What's it say? What's it called? It's... What's it, it say right underneath the... It's a seat? staff. It's a staff. No. You equipped it. It's a red card. Uh, I'm sorry. Maybe some of the red cards are like that, but like... like it'll actually be... Oh, yeah. Yours is red, too. You see the hordes of orcs underneath of it? The little thing will yeah. say tenacious enemy or like yeah i just saw event. red and thought that's what it was but then uh, i looked at it and was dumbfounded gotcha. i didn't get why my staff would attack us <laughs> it's just it's a staff of hit yourself <laughs> don't hit stuff hit yourself yeah. stop hit yourself <laughs> all right so while i'm scouring around i find this amulet amulet of water breathing so it protects me against water damage. It halves the damage. Is that a purple card? Are you going to fill out all your four slots? Yes, I am. What is this garbage? Damn. Eric's like, load it. Matt, Matt, truce. I'm also, <laughs> what, what? <laughs> Just for that. I got a chance of doing 10 damage to you, so I ain't got to worry about you now. I know, but you, I know you can kill me off at any point. That's what I'm saying. So you allow me to do damage to Eric in the, in the interim. Yeah. Because <laughs> what's our hit points together? What's your, what are you at? 20 something? 27. I'm at 15. Eric's at 39. Is yes. that right? 39. All right. All right. 2v1. What's up, what? Eric? What? I'm going to have to get you down then. You got too much stuff. <laughs> so I'm also immune to the effects of the spell Drowning Fear. That specific spell, huh? Yeah. You guys don't come at me with that. <laughs> All right. All right, Tim. I'll try not to. I'm going to try to take you out. I'm going to do this uh, to hit. What do you? What is this? What is this? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's a cone of code. Oh, this is where all the open GL comes from. <laughs> That's extreme code one d eight. All right, before you roll. All right. Oh, I gotta I'll probably spike the mic on that one. I'm gonna play a defense card here. Oh no. What does this do, Eric? One d eight. Well, per arcane level, some two. All right, I'm gonna play. Tr uh, no, let's see. I'm gonna play this shield of reflection defense. When attack, immediately place this card. Uh, play this card to redirect all the effects from a cantrip, spell, or scroll to the target player. No attack roll required. Using the arcane level of the initial caster. So it's going to auto damage you. For 2d8s. You going to roll it? Uh, yeah, I'll roll it. Since I'm doing this damn. No, you know what? You roll it against yourself. All right. You cone cold your face. I just grabbed your hand. It was like, stop, stop <laughs> touching yourself. <laughs> Three. <laughs> I'm not going to hurt myself too much. <laughs> And a six. Nine, nine damage. Nine damage. That's what I'm talking about. Not too bad. <laughs> That's all right. I'll let you kill yourself. <laughs> How am I going to kill myself? You want to discard in, uh, Yeah, card? discard one, and I'll take two. All right. Here we go. So I don't have any prepare. Uh, I'm simply going to move on to doing my little base attack here against Eric. And uh, what's your defense now? You got like a plus two? You got a 12? What? what? Mm -hmm. Yes, I got 12. All right. I'm going to hand to death you with my cantrip here. You can try. Eight. No. Oh, not enough. That's a failure and a half. All right, I'm going to discard a card. And um, um, we're going to discard this one. I'm going to draw two. And it's Matt's turn. All right, uh, my preparation. I'm going to put down the Staff of War plus one. Uh, it increases my attack roll. By one? By, By one. one. Nice. Hmm. I noticed that I got a bigger staff Eric, than I know. you. I know. Eric just outshines you on every card he plays. Yeah, he's, all his stuff is plus two, it seems like. Plus two, yeah. and then he healed himself well, from, what, 25 health? But... How much did you heal yourself for? 25. <laughs> what is that garbage? All right. Mm. 
What do you have? Your water thing? It halves damage? It halves water damage. Uh, and yeah. immune to drowning sphere. Oh, it halves water damage? Nice. Yeah. I didn't do that to you, but it's good to know. Interesting. Uh, it's contemplated. Eric's oh, in a yeah, good position was, right now. That was a cone. Cone was probably ice. That's probably ice, yeah. Uh, why not? Let's go ahead and shoot it at you. I think there is ice and water. There's like a dark blue and know. a light blue. Is that light blue? Well, it'll tell you what type of damage it does. It says life sphere. What, what does it say? Like it does 1d8 what? Or just 1d8 Oh, I'm damage. sorry. Um, it just says points of damage. Well, yeah. See, so like on this one over here, uh, 1d8 very well. There's some of them that actually state what type of damage, like electricity damage. Remember when I read that? It would make sense that... Um, oh, is this dark blue? Dark blue would be code damage, right? Probably. By the way, keep going. It doesn't say the type so, of damage so on light, it. light blue would be uh, water. <laughs> this actually says water on it, though. I'm about to shoot you oh. with a... Oh, well, this spell, one didn't state. Which, oddly enough, it's called freeze arrow, and it's water damage. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's hot outside, and it's melting on the yeah. way. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to shoot an icy arrow at you. How, how much damage is it? It does 1d6. It, it actually six? says 1d6 water damage. Actually, it says cold damage. What is going on here? Uh, read off the effect, the whole thing. Okay, so it says freeze arrow, spell, water sphere. Okay, water sphere. Sorry. It's part of the water. Yes. An icy yeah. arrow deals 1d6 points of cold damage per arcane caster level to the target player. So, sorry. It's cold damage. You're taking cold damage, Eric. Bring it. You're taking it all. It's different than water. <laughs> 15. All right. You go through. Uh, 1d6. Two. Bite him. Bite him with the bear. Then here comes my burr. Burr. Mm. Wait. Hurry, bear. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. What'd you roll? Three. No, no that's fine. Um, Eric, Eric debating on a defense spell from the crazy bear that does 10 damage. <clears throat> it does 1d10? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do this. I just rolled a three. Yeah, but well, he I'll called it right wait. before okay. you rolled. So, that so one attack to immediately play this uh, card to dodge an attack from an opponent, a companion, or an enemy. That bear ain't coming near me. This round. That's fair. Okay. I mean, he did call it right before he rolled. So. Sure. All right. That is me. All right. You want to discard one and draw? Let's, uh, yeah, I'll discard one. Give me three. All right. Eric, what you going to do? You going to prepare anything? Oh, did you roll your, uh. Oh, I didn't. Let me roll that. Let's do Saving that. throw. Four. It just prevents it. I still keep it. Yeah, though. I never get, I never get rid of this. What's your health? <clears throat> My health is 15. 15? What are you at? 28. Whatever. <laughs> All right, man, uh, Tim, I'm, I'm going to come after you and try to take you out. All right. You got something else? Uh, what? Well, first off, what you declaring? Oh, I'm sorry. You got to hit me with something. It's a cone of cold. It's the same card you had. Yeah, I guess so. Did you pick it back up? No, I only got I four know. cards. They have, they have like a lot of the same card. <laughs> All right, so what is this, a D8? Uh, 1D8, yeah, per arcane level. Arcane level two. So you're going to be 2d8. I think I will defend against this. Uh, actually, that? I'm going to play Transfusion. If you are attacked and a player rolls a successful attack roll, place this card or play, place this card to absorb the damage. Oh, go ahead and roll your attack. I don't have to play it unless you... 16. Do it. S successful. Yes. All right. <laughs> All right. So it's a cantrip spell or scroll, and it is. I transform it into hit points. So heal me, Eric. Oh, you get healed? healed. I'm, I'm a necromancer. Oh, I, I can take the cold. It All doesn't right. bother me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Just went on. Uh... Right? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yep. I'm going to switch my necromancer out for the female That's card. <laughs> that helped him out. <laughs> I found it. Oh, there you go. Eight. Yeah. I was going to kill you. And four. Twelve, 12 points for you. Now, Good, sir. But you 20, healed him? 27. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Eric. You're you're welcome. <laughs> you're my best ally. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you gonna discard um, anything? Yeah, I'll discard one and get three. There you go. All right, so prepare phase. I'm gonna be like Eric. I'm gonna ditch this robe of protection one. Now I've got a robe of protection two. Mm. Oh. Now I've got twelve defense. Pop that collar. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. As a matter of fact, it looks the same. Oh, no, it's got a little bit of extra things. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit of filigree or hmm. whatever. 
Uh, let's see. I got this cool thing here. Um, yeah, let's do that. No, no, I don't want to do that yet. Uh, actually, Eric, I'm just going to attack you normally with my cantrip since I'm the boring mage among us. What, what would you hit me with? Uh, so uh, I'm going to do my cantrip. It's hand of death. It's a D4, D4. plus a D6. You going to do anything? You want to defend against that? Make no, sure. No. Bring it on. All right. Uh, I'm 12. The defenses will actually say what you can do it against. If it doesn't say cantrip, you can't block with that defense anyway. Okay. Like, for instance, the one I just did against you uh, says cantrip, spell, or scroll. Okay. Here we go. I rolled a nine. I believe that is a miss. That is. All right. I'm going to discard a card and draw three, and that it is your turn to bear him to death. Okay. Um... So can I play if it's my sphere? Can I play a level two, or I have to get my caster level up to? You have even, to get your caster level. Yes, yeah, even, even for my own. Okay. Yeah. Sorry guys, I got all those uh those rings. Yeah, I discarded I that. They will eventually make it back into the deck. Because it says, I mean, arcane caster level is the level of your character determines the power of his attacks. It varies throughout the game based on the arcane bonus associated with your equipped magic items. It says, initially, your character has a caster level of 1 to allow him to cast all spells having the same number. If he reaches 2, the, the magician can cast level 2s and so on. That's where it says, right. initially, your character can cast everything at 1. That's where I, th I thought, all like, right. if you cast your own, you just get plus 1 to the damage. That's fine. Well, I'm going to cast Magic Missile at the dark <laughs> that Eric is standing in. At the uh, darkness. At the darkness. <laughs> oh, wait, what's, what's this? Um, it's a Magic Missile. What? You got anything for this, Eric? What is it, D8? D6? So, D6. Oh, D6? That's fine. Saving it for the burr. Burr. Nope. Two. Oh. All right. All right. Burr. You bear the responsibility of taking him out. Wait, wait. All right, I'm going to da dodge that again. Oh, he dodged it. I said that bear ain't going to get near <sighs> me. Eric. <laughs> All right. I'm going to burn that bear down. Let's uh, discard one. I'll draw two. Two. Oh, sorry. Eric, it is your turn. In the essence of time, no more healing spells. Oh. <laughs> you forgot to do your roll again. I did. Here's my Kill roll. Yourself. 16, I take 10 damage. I'm at 17. Hmm. Anyway, did you hear me? What's that? Yes. Well, if you draw healing things, let's just discard them and draw new ones. Okay. Just to keep it shorter. Sure. I'm going to hex Matt here. He keeps on attacking me. Uh, if you missed your saving throw, uh, you will be paralyzed until your next turn. What's that do? I paralyze him. <laughs> <laughs> it's not defined. It's a, it's a hex. There's no paralyzer. Maybe I can't. Oh, defend. he he can uh, he cannot attack. Oh, um, oh, the other words on the card. <laughs> the magician is unable to attack or defend himself. The curse will be lifted if the magician is dealt damage. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, you can't defend yourself. Hmm. hmm. Interesting. Well, I mean, if somebody hits him once, it'll right. go away. Don't worry about it, because I rolled a three. That's right. Uh, whatever. That's right. Get it out of here. All right. Uh, Matt. I am discarding or, a oh. card. Uh, drawn three. All right. So just remember for the first time in the game, I'm going to roll my saving throw on my turn. Mm -hmm. That's cocked. But I'm, it, I don't know. It was a 14. I'm at seven hit points. Oh, you got uh, row. That <laughs> yeah, no, Matt, Matt, you might be doing this alone here in a second here. Um, uh, man, a scroll it literally takes up my attack phase, though. Uh, how much? How many hit points you got, Eric? I'm taking you out. You can try twenty-eight. All right, I'm playing this magic stone as always. A powerful stone deals 1d6 points of damage. I got to hit you first. 18. Take this stone to the face. All right. I do a d6 plus my d6 for my ring. Oh, you do both? Yeah. What's up with that? Seven points of damage. Damages is what it says in the book. 21. All right, madam, I'll draw two cards. I discarded one, and it's your turn. All right. Um,. Well, this is all I got to do. Let me shoot a fireball at you. <laughs> which makes no sense. I mean, you could take me out. <laughs> a fireball? All right. So uh, That's what I put, got the curse on for you. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. I'm going to die eventually. I'll, so, I'll let the curse get you. Uh, yeah, right. so 1d6. What, you, you, I'm you, doing half, though? Uh, no, you have to hit, hit a 
15 or more to hit he, me. He gets plus three to his defense value against... Plus, I have plus two. Yeah, so you got to hit a 15 or higher. You got any pluses? Uh, plus one. All right. Seven. Didn't hit. Right. Didn't hit. But my bear will come at you now. You're getting bared. Wait, wait, wait. You're getting mauled. What is these defense cards? <laughs> this is garbage. Uh, no, no, no. I'll take it. You can, You're you can take try. it like a champ. You're going to try. Bared. How about a 20? Oh, natural. 20. He is going to ball your face <laughs> off. All right. All right. No, you already all right, all too right. late for that. All right, go for it. <laughs> two D10s. Two D10s? Well, no, it's a D10 times two. So okay, roll so. low. Yeah, so you, yeah, you take the same value and just double it. Oh, two. I right, took four. Four. Oh, the chance of destroying uh, Eric with one hit. <laughs> 17. That's my turn. I'll discard <laughs> one, draw two. All right. Draw. <clears throat> all right, Eric. So oh, you, oh, do you... Go ahead. Oh, is it an enemy? Encounter. No, oh, here it goes. Red dragon. A powerful <laughs> red dragon shrieks from the sky and deals 2d20 points of fire damage to all players. 2d20? <laughs> She's going to kill us all. Players with a successful saving throw take half damage. All right, Matt. Go ahead and roll the damage since you drew this card. All right. 2d20. Here it goes. So this is what he's hitting us with. 12. Oh. Second one. What's the second, second one? Second one, yeah. That's uh, just one. <laughs> Nine. So, 21. 21 points of damage. Matt, roll your saving throw. Let's see if you can uh, take half of that. Yeah, I got an 11. Yeah, roll 11 so, or lower. 11 or lower. Seven. All right. So, you take what? 10 or 11, however you want to round well, up or down. Round up since yeah, we need gotcha. to die faster. <laughs> 16. All right. Me and Tim might die here. All right. Roll yours, Eric. What's your? 13, which I got a 12. No. Oh. Take well, your 21 points of damage. Is it fire damage? <laughs> it is fire damage. Uh, oh. Yeah, it is fire damage. I'll, I'll take half <laughs> on, that, on that anyway, right? Oh, no, I got plus three. So I have 13, 14, 15. Well, you get plus three against spells of the fire sphere. Oh, not necessarily not fire, fire damage. damage. Yes. You'd actually have to have, like, for instance, I have a robe. All fire attack damage to the magician is reduced by five points. Gotcha. Yeah, yours is just plus three to that school of magic. So barely... What do you at six hit points? Oh, I'm at seventeen. So oh, he hits me for twenty one. Oh my god, yes. you get murdered the, by red dragons, Matt. You might win four. this. <laughs> the dragon helped you out, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Top deck of stuff rip. You. Top deck rip. All right, so uh even though this probably won't matter, when a character dies, if you kill him, oh well, Matt didn't actually do the killing. Mm -hmm. But if you would have done the killing with your spell, not your companion or a encounter, you actually get to loot his body and you would get to take oh. one of his equipped items. Oh, too bad. That yeah, didn't happen, bad. but here we go. Here's my... Uh, I rolled a 20. I die horribly. <laughs> I, take, I don't take double damage, but... Because you can't double damage a saving throw. Mm. Anyway, I die. Matt, you win by basically technicality. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you got your dragon pet to help you. The deck helped me win. <laughs> All right, so we got a few minutes. Let's just do some uh, initial thoughts. I'm not mm. saying this game is amazing, Hopefully it was entertaining. Uh, I think it actually is way too hard to cast anything past level one. That's what I was kind of... Oh, well, it wasn't for me because I started with a ring of arcane. Right. I got two other ring of Ar arcanes that I discarded. What? Yeah, sorry guys. <laughs> sorry I didn't guys. see. I didn't yes. see any way to do the level three stuff. Here's ring of arcane plus two. All right. So, like, maybe they should have a way to, like, increase your arcane level a lot quicker yeah mm -hmm. or something i don't know i don't know i don't know what else you can do maybe discard x number of cards in your turn to temporarily increase it right i mean it's gonna be uh the the game's a uh, <laughs> lot about the luck of the draw getting the right you know get plus twos and sub plus ones um being able to get an arcane ring early on so you can do d8s instead of d6s right but then again you know I can be rolling a D8 and hit you for two, and you can be D6s and throwing D6s all the time. So, or a dragon can show up, or a dragon can show yeah, up and everyone off. I don't know about these encounters. The orcs was kind of fun. Mm -hmm. I kind of, I think maybe this system with like a co-op, some kind of co-op with like a monster deck or something would be a little bit cooler. Yeah. Um, which it pretty much which honestly, I guess there's already games out there like that. It's pretty but, much Pathfinder the card game yeah, is what it turns into right, if you start doing that. Exactly. 
I mean, I guess like the appeal to this is people who want to just play something that resembles D and D, which I think is what they, I don't know. I, I think it's a huge miss, but uh, you know, I think there's going to be an audience out there. Like if you're trying to like play Dungeons and Dragons and you're waiting for people to show up and your group doesn't really board game, I can see them being excited about this, but as a game, it has a massive amount of flaws. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You get to kind of go through cars. You're chucking dice still doing uh, pen and paper, keeping damage and all that good stuff. So what's the player count? I think it plays up to six. Okay. I mean, so it plays, you know, I think one-on-one -on -one might oh, it, be kind of It does right. have a team. Well, yeah. We're a team variant. The, the rule book is incredibly bad. I mean, it has all this stuff, but like, for instance, the winner is the player of the team that manages to defeat all other players by reducing the number of hit points to zero. I, uh, I think, yeah, blah, 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 how to play. It never says anything about making a team. That literally is the only time it ever talks about a team. So you decide on yourself. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Where's the box? Give me that. Like, I, I don't think it even states on the back. I mean, I mean, either so there's way, no official variance to team play. I mean, there's no difference, but like the only thing it mentions teams play is that is that winning condition. Mm -hmm. But even the how to play Dark Mage is a card game mixing role playing, luck, and strategy. <laughs> luck, mixing role playing, luck, 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 and even more luck, and strategy turn based aspects. The game includes seven polyhedral dice, 120 cards, eight characters with unique attributes. Attributes. Let's talk about that. Okay. Oh. Just um, your schools. Not really. Not even like everybody's character has a starting 1d4 damage ability. Right. All of them. All of them are the same. I'm not counting the expansion because this was written before the expansion or maybe they had it planned, but it's not included in the base game. So unique starting abilities. No, they are not unique. You named them uniquely. <laughs> right. Right. They do but not it's all do, d4. Yeah. You do nothing different. Uh, I shuffle. I mean, that's it. It doesn't say anything about preparing and, and being in teams or anything like it's just a terribly written rule book. It is garbage. It talks about all the different cards, which is nice, but it doesn't really give certain examples that are like the arcane level thing. There needs to be an example to explain that or write it better. Right. And then later on, it talks about, you know, it gives you a chart. This is the most waste of space ever. And I'm not trying to harp on this game, but I'm a very big rule book stickler. It shows you a chart. The magician it's cantrip, which is literally copied and pasted eight times because <laughs> it's like Scorching Ray, 1d4 plus Arcane Caster level. Inflict Wounds, 1d4 plus Arcane Caster level. And then it tells you the sphere, which is different, the color of what it is. Right. And then the Arcane Caster level, attack roll, armor class bonus for being attacked by that school of magic. They're all the same. Like, why would you even have this reference table? I know y'all want it to be like Dungeons and Dragons. But you don't need to just put charts everywhere just to have charts. And then the glossary, right? This is where the only time you hear what a critical hit is in a fumble. Everything, like some of the other stuff is in here. It's okay. Like your discard pile. I mean, I guess you take it for granted that you know that most games have a discard pile, but it never says that. So I don't know. Like the rule book is very bad. The videos online are also bad. They're not, the videos online are using like old artwork and stuff. And they kind of describe oh. it separately. Like there's no runes. It's actually letters and stuff. Not that that's a big deal, but you need to update that stuff for your actual publication. I would say, right. It's kind of like your Kickstarter videos is the only one they have. Even when you look at the ones on the website, it's still outdated. Anyway, what thought, you, what, the artwork wasn't too horrible. So. <laughs> no, I actually thought yeah. the artwork on most of the cards was pretty good. Yeah. The artwork was pretty nice. Yeah. I mean, the potions are pretty basic, but whatever, but yeah, all the rest of the artwork is, is pretty nice. Um, man, I don't know. I don't like the fact that they have like no casting requirement to play like a ring of arcane plus two or a ring of arcane plus one or same thing with a rope of protection plus one and plus two. Right. You just, just have because to get it. you drew it. Right. You can collect, you know, saying like, I don't know about that. That's kind of, I don't know. I do like the fact that the game kind of, it looks like most escalates. Of, mm -hmm. Well, it looks like most of it's pretty just the same you know it's going to be either plus one or plus two on your right side you know the uh your your attack uh rod or wizard staff is either going to be a plus one or plus two to your ruling yeah so i would like to see a little bit you know different things that you could have got to yeah 
and honestly, the biggest way I think they could have improved this game is if each spell, uh, instead of just having caster level and having like ones, twos, and threes, mm-hmm. every single spell should have had a one, vert, two, and a three. That way you can cast everything that you get that's a spell, but it would be more powerful and not just damage. Make it do other things. Like Ice Arrow deals 1d6 points of cold damage per arcane caster level to the target player. Right. At level one. Maybe mm-hmm. at level two, it does 1d6 points. Like maybe that's with a base damage. And then it says, if you have level two, one, two or three, add these effects. Right. Like maybe it freezes one of the player's items and it goes face down until the next their next turn and then they flip it back up. Yeah, or freeze one of their companions. Yeah, or freeze one of their companions to where they can't use them on their next turn. Mm-hmm. Stuff like that. I mean, you could there's so many little things you could have added to this to make it this is the next level or yeah. the next couple levels. <laughs> I was looking at Board Game Geek, somebody mentioned that there was another game this game basically rips off. I've never heard of the game. It's called like Emilus or something. I've never heard of the game. I've never played a game that was kind of like this. I mean, Obviously, some games are kind of like this, but this honestly screams I've never designed a game and I've never played many other games. I hate to be mean, but this is garbage. (laughs) I don't know. We'll play it again with the expansion. It does add a little bit of cool things that I see immediately Mm -hmm. that kind of fix some of this. So I don't want to just be cocked and loaded on one playthrough live on a podcast. Yeah. But, you know, obviously I have to play it a lot more to make sure I'm reviewing it with all the fairness I'll reread the rule book, maybe email them with some questions, check out some uh, things about the caster level. I think we got it right, but who knows? You know, we could be wrong about stuff, but the overall gameplay I don't see changing. I don't yeah. think the experience is going to change. Too much I mean, luck. It's pretty basic. So yeah. that's one, I guess, good thing for some people and bad thing for others. It, if it was a filler game in the 15 minute to 20 minute category, mm-hmm. but I think we played it for. About 45 minutes. That yeah, was pretty long. For three players. Could you imagine playing this eight people? That's that's bordering you should play d and I feel like um, they saw that the games would drag out, so I, that's almost like why they put in the, the dragons and stuff. Right. Like, let's just lower... Because there's a lot of healing potions. I had five of them. Yeah. Did I, you really? Yeah. I got... Oh. I mean, I didn't use them all. I started discarding all the crappy ones. Okay. But I had one in my hand, too. I think, and I even discarded like some kind of cure spell. There's like, there's way too much curing and healing in it. Hmm. Yeah, you should almost just remove all that. Like maybe put a few of them in there, but I mean, not let you be lucky with that as long uh, along with your uh, rings and robes and everything. Right, or just make them use up your attack slot, so you you can choose to heal or you can choose to attack. Which makes sense. The potions use up your preparation time, not actually doing a fight. Right. So I don't know, or make it to where if you do, like, if you want to stay with the D and D theme, make it to where like drinking a potion reduces to where you can't use any cards for your attacks. You can only do attack with your basic cantrip. So it gives you some reason to think, Oh, should I heal or should I not heal? Right. Otherwise, bam, bust out that 25 hit points. If it's going to allow you, I don't even, I don't know if you can go above your max. I just Mm -hmm. assumed that you couldn't. It doesn't state that you can't. I would think you couldn't, but Yeah. You have 60 hit points. This number decreases or increases throughout the game, but never exceeds 60. Okay, it does say it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so we did it right. But, yeah. I don't know. We'll try it again. Maybe we'll have an official topic on it. We'll do uh, the expansion. Probably I'll include all that. But uh, any uh, quick final thoughts before we end this episode of the Meeple Core podcast? No. No. All right. That was all right. Fair enough. I think it was. this might be better in in a... it was probably fun in this situation mm-hmm. or maybe a convention or something like that where it's like, I don't even care what happens. Right. As a serious game. It might of, be better. I think it'll be better as a two player game as well. Or like I said, even teams. I don't even know about two player. That's like huge. Whoever just luck draws maybe uh, two on two might be well, bear, that, bearable. Mm-hmm. I yeah. mean, it is going to be a lot luck based just yeah. on, just on what it is. The cards you draw, the dice you roll. So Yeah. If you don't like those types of games, you're not going <laughs> to like this game for sure. Well, if it does interest you at all, check out Dark Mages. There's an expansion called the Arcane Order or something. Uh, yeah, the Arcane Order. If you go to darkmages.com, uh, you can purchase this there. And uh, anyway, we'll talk about it again at some point. So we want to end this episode of the People Card Podcast. We want to thank you again for tuning in to episode 57. 
This episode was recorded on July 9th, 2018. Please send us questions and comments to meeplecore at gmail.com. Follow MeepleCore on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Check out the video versions on YouTube at youtube.com slash meeplecore. Until next time, this is Tim DeJet, the Metal Meeple. Matt Robert. And Eric Ledford. Keep on rocking and rolling dice.